I am Anil Kumar sharing with you my learnings about solving trigonometric identities. I should say about proving trigonometric identities. We have two questions here. These two trigonometric identities are tan x over 1 plus tan x equals to sin x over sin x plus cos x. And the other one is 1 plus tan square x divided by 1 minus tan square x equals to 1 over cos square x minus sine square x. Now, can you tell me why have I taken these two together? And I'm going to solve them in this small space. The idea is both have the same strategy. And this strategy which I'm going to reveal is really unique, not discussed in any book so far. Okay, now the strategy here is to look at tan and sine. How are they related? So let's try this out. What is tan x times cos x? Well, tan x times cos x, tan is sine, right? Sine x over cos x. And if I multiply that by cosine x, what do I get? I just get sine x. Do you see that? So what we get here is when we multiply tan by cosine, we really get sine x. So tan x times cos x is sine x. Now this is a very, very fundamental relation in these trigonometric ratios, which we normally overlook. But I will use this concept to prove both the identities. You can actually pause the video. You got the real hint and prove these identities in just two steps. Let us see how. Now the strategy here is if I multiply tan by cosine, I get sine. So you're looking at this, right? Tan x divided by 1 plus tan x. If I multiply both numerator and denominator by cosine, then I get sine here, cos here, and sine here. And that is what it is. Do you see that? As simple as that. So that is why I've taken these two examples together and you'll find many more in your books where this strategy, tan x times cos x is sin x, will really help you to solve or to prove trigonometric identities in just few steps. So remember this, tan x times cos x is equal to sin x. Right. So, I'm actually giving you real ways of understanding how to prove trigonometric identities. Right. That should really help you to understand this topic and get excellent marks. So, as I said, let's begin from the left side, which is tan x over 1 plus tan x. To prove this to be equal to right side, what we need to do? multiply both by cos x, both numerator and denominator. That's the key. Now, what is tan x times cos x? Tan x times cos x is sin x. So, tan x times cos x is sin x. So, I'm writing sin x in the numerator, tan x times cos x. Right? So, I really love it. So, let me just show you what I did. I just multiplied this to get sin x. Now I'm going to multiply 1 plus tan x by cos x. What do I get? 1 times cos x is cos x. And tan x times cos x is sin x. Perfect. This is what I have. So let me add a step which really is not required. Okay. And now I could conclude that this left side is equal to right side, hence proved. The identity, as simple as that. Do you see that? Do you appreciate it? Let's apply this strategy once again, and this time with square. Now, what do you say we should be doing with this one? It is 1 plus tan square x divided by 1 minus tan square x. Let me rewrite. So left side here is 1 plus tan square x divided by 1 minus tan 
square x, we need to get cos and sin square. So tan is getting converted to sine. Do you see that? And that gives you a hint. What? You should just multiply by cos square x. Not just cos, right? Cos square x. Now, tan x times cos x is sin x. But if I square, then what? We get sine square x. That's the whole idea, right? That's what it is. So, so let's do that. So we can write the left side as cos square x times 1 is cos square x. Tan square x times cos square x is sine square x, right? No doubt about it, correct? Divided by cos square x times 1 is cos square x minus tan square x times cos square x is sine square x. Now, what is cos square x plus sine square x? That's the Pythagorean identity, right? The fundamental Pythagorean identity equals to 1. And the denominator here is cos square x minus sine square x. And that is what we require, right? That is the right side. So it becomes that simple. Do you get the idea? So trigonometric identity is, is real fun. If you go with me, you'll really enjoy it. And no question will be difficult for you to solve. I hope you understand and appreciate this simple technique. Tan x times cos x is sin x. Tan square x times cos square x will be sin square x. And so on. You could always use it very effectively to prove trigonometric identities. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. And feel free to post questions and your suggestions. Thank you and all the best.